uh, in, this, uh, in this particular uh, video, what we're going to be talking about is Stargate, uh, the Stargate address system. And uh, like we said before, we're, um, we're dealing with multidimensional physics, multidimensional coordinates. So we need to start uh, something in the 3D and then you know, later we're going to move into the, the multi-D, the uh, 12 dimensional actually, nine dimensions. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to understand about um, how a Stargate works, or the address system actually. Um, we need to imagine that uh, the, the ring, the ring device actually, uh, you know, it is circular, however, um, it is not, you know, everything's not what it seems. So it's not actually a circle. We're going to divide that circle into um, a polygon, actually. Um, and what we're going to do uh, from there, we're going to superimpose that polygon onto the Cartesian coordinate system uh, so we can we can get a good grasp of this. Uh, if you if you have no idea what the Cartesian coordinate system is, um, I'm going to give a very very simple overview here. But uh, if you really really don't understand it, uh, go back to high school algebra um, or, or go to YouTube. There's some really good. Um, videos about the Cartesian coordinate system on there. Um, the best one probably is going to be, look for the, the series called The Language of Mathematics, or The Language of Math, taught by a very, very cool Canadian guy. Okay, but let's move on to my stuff, um, which is the Stargate. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to superimpose a circle, or rather a polygon, on top of this Cartesian coordinate system. I'm going to do that very, very simply. Um, let's use different color chalk here. I'm at my school right now. Uh, okay, let's make a circle. Uh, all right. And um, now let's turn. That's kind of a not, obviously, not a perfect circle. Um, Okay, let's turn this into a, an octagon here. That there, that there, there, that there. And let's see. That, turn that into an angle there. That, that, that. Go up there, here. Like that. And, um, Uh, okay, obviously this is, you know, not going to be the, the most perfect, um, the, the most perfect uh, octagon either. Some sides are kind of larger than others, but you get the basic idea. Okay, and um, how the Stargate works, um, at least uh, the, the first part of it. Um, now imagine this is like a combination lock. If you, if you. Um, if you put in the right combination, you will get the lock open. And in our case, the lock being opened is going to be the, the Stargate making a connection with the, the point B out there or wherever. Okay. And um, so imagine that each side is, is like a, a button in an electronic key lock. So. Um, Let's uh, let's just uh, say that this is button number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Let's let's imagine that um, uh, let's imagine that um, you know this is but, uh, position one, two, three, four, and they're, they're all like electronic buttons there. Okay. Um, now. 
Now, if we if we push say button number two, um, that is going to um, and it's going to be position number one uh, and and so on. Okay, but uh, let's kind of look at this from a more mathematical point of view because later this is going to be very important. Um, every time that you push a button and make another uh, node in the combination, you're going to be drawing a linear line through uh, this graph. Okay? And so, what we're going to have, okay, we have the, uh, the coordinate system, the, the grid. Um, I, I didn't even take time to, to draw the, all the little, little squares in the grid that you normally see. But, they are there, we have our, we have our y axis here, we have our x horizontal axis. It's really all we need to, to understand. So I can't really see the x over here if I'm standing. Um, okay, but, Imagine that we um, um, are going to press this button right here. Okay. That is going to create a linear line going straight through here. Okay. So now, if you actually look at this, um, this now this line actually must form uh, a right angle to this face of the polygon. Uh, if it's not, yeah, the stuff isn't going to work. Okay. So it's going to have a square to, it's going to have a, a square, a right angle to, to this side and to this side. It has to be a straight angle. Okay. Um, now, what we can do, because this is a linear line, uh, let's call this um, y1. Okay, uh, and we know that uh, this this uh, circle is only representing the first two um, electric uh, the the EM the first two EM coils on the uh, Stargate. Uh, we know that the Stargate actually has four sets uh, four sets of EM coils. These are just representing the two first two. So what we need now. Um, Obviously, before I, I mentioned that the uh, Stargate requires four linear lines or four combinations. These are just going to be the first two. Okay. So what do we have now? We need to put in the second key. Okay. And the second key. Let's draw. Let's let's make this line go through here. Okay, we're going to have a right angle here, right angle here. Okay, and now um, here we have another linear line here, a linear line here. Let's call this one y two. Let's call it y two. All right. And um, so uh, now, what do we have? We have this combination of, of two and six, and then eight and four. Um, Obviously, if we if we uh, put this marker in first, uh, it's you know it's the, the linear line is going to go through the entire circle. So when we press two, uh, we're at the same time pressing three. It's just these uh, they're, they're, they're combinations. They they never can separate from each other. And the same thing with uh, eight and four. Uh, they they'll never be separate. If they do, something really, really strange happens, and I haven't figured out when or why that would happen. I, I don't think it could happen unless somebody really jacks up a Stargate. Um, that's that's not in my business. Okay, so we have Y1 and Y2. And if we want to find out where this wormhole is going to be going, um, we need to find the, uh, the, the simultaneous solution between y1 and y2, okay? And wherever they cross is going to be where that, um, where that, um, where that point B is going to exist. So 
uh, you know, point, uh, point B is going to be right here. You know, that's where they would intersect. Okay. All right. So, you know, we got that. We, we have our, our Y1, we have our Y2. Um, okay. And as I said, the, um, this is just the first, the first set of two EM coils that we're, we're feeding the, the address points to. We actually have two. Okay. This first one is going to be the horizontal plane, or, or one of the planes. Uh, and the second one is going to be the vertical plane. And these two different planes are going to be uh, intersecting with each other, rather perpendicular to each other, sorry. Um, OK, but now, um, if you know very much about geometry and, and related things, you're going to notice that there is some really, really big problem with this particular system. Um, you know, if we have if we have only eight sides, no matter what combination, no matter what combination of um, of sides that we choose, we are always going to end up with the, the solution to these two equations. It's going to be right in the middle, okay? Um, but I wouldn't be talking if I didn't know the solution, okay? Um, and this is, this right here is um, where we're going to be understanding more about what circles really are, okay? And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give you a really good clue. Really, this is the answer. Um, now, the angle on, on this, right here, uh, on these on these sides, right here, whatever this angle is, uh, that is predictable. This is going to be very predictable. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. I, I have an equation for that. Um, but the, the very important thing to remember is that the more uh, the more uh, sides to the polygon that you have, the more possibilities that there are, or the more possibilities that there can be of solutions uh, to to y1 and y2 that are not in the center, uh, and that is a very important thing to understand. Uh, of course, even there, there are limitations where you can and can't go, but um, that's not really a problem, as we'll find out later, okay? So now, um, if you have any questions about this, uh, this is a very, very simple concept. Um, I don't really think there should be too many questions about this, but if there are, just leave me a message, I'll get back with you, and I'll try to be quick about it. All right? And uh, thanks for watching my vlog again, and have a nice day.